What's up, family? You know who it is. This is Joe Brennan, Strong Island Fitness. Today, I am 14 weeks out from the show. The series is flying by, guys. Um, <laughs> it feels like every other day I'm making a video just on this series alone pertaining to my competition. I did see my coach a couple days ago in the Changes that I have made to my diet so far are that I am having five low carb days followed by a high carb day instead of three low carb days followed by a high carb day. I'm adding a little bit of ground beef into the mix for my last meal. And I am also now doing a lot more cardio. Instead of doing just four days a week of 30 minutes post-workout cardio, I'm now doing five days a week of post-workout cardio with five days a week of 45 minutes of fasted cardio. Now, with all this being said, I just wanted to cover what I thought was a very important topic, and that topic is rest. See, now over the summer, last summer, what I was doing is somewhat similar to what I'm doing now, except I'm actually training a little less now. Over the summer, last summer, I would go up to two hours of cardio a day. I would be on zero to very little carbs, you know, every single day, and which would and since I wasn't competing, I really cheated more than I do now. I mean, now I think I'm on day 25 or 26, and I haven't cheated at all or messed up my diet or my vitamins or supplements or anything. I've been right on track. But over the summer, I was actually cheating more, so I was getting in more higher calorie days, but I was also training a lot, a lot more. Now, as of now, I'm only training five days a week, and I think that is very important to say because... When you are cutting, not when you're bulking, when you're bulking, maybe you can get away with doing six days a week, maybe you can get away with doing two days, but when you are on such low calories, it really, really does affect how you perform in the gym. And sleep is also a very important factor in this as well. As I said, when I was doing this over the summer, I would do no carbs for you know days and days at a time. And my body would just literally like shut down. Like I just couldn't, I couldn't do anything. At work I was suffering very badly. I just didn't know what to do. So that's when I would cheat or have high carb days, which was really unhealthy. As of now, I'm on day, as I said, 25 or 26. And I really don't experience that as much. Definitely less energy. It affects me a little bit, but not nearly to the extent of what it did until yesterday. Yesterday, I got home. I had a lot of stuff going on, some unfortunate events, and I had to come to the gym later that night at around like 11 o'clock. I had to drive out like 30 minutes to, because that was the only gym that was open. And I went to go train and my body was just, I could not do it. I, my body was just not functioning. It was almost like I had an elephant sitting on my chest. I just could not do anything. And I haven't felt that way since last summer. And the reason why I realized is because the last few days, because of everything that's been going on and all the chaos, I haven't really slept that much. The last three days, I've been really getting like three or four hours of sleep. And now when you combine three or four hours of sleep on low carbs or no carbs and then doing a massive amount of cardio, your body is definitely going to shut down. So the purpose of this video is that overtraining is a real thing and rest is absolutely 100% necessary. If you are not getting enough sleep and you are not taking enough rest while you are on low calories, your body will shut down and it is only a matter of time before it does. If you are bulking and you are getting a high amount of calories and you are getting a lot of calories, it is a lot less hard to overtrain. You can push yourself a little bit more, but when your body is really starving and wants that food and you're depriving it of all those carbohydrates and all the food that it needs in order to cut you need to sleep and you absolutely need to take off in the gym because it will catch up to you and it will feel like a bus hit you that's all i have to say for now guys i wanted to thank you so much for tuning into these videos i know it's a short video but i figured it was something that was really important and something i definitely had to share because for the longest time i thought you know well you know overtraining isn't really a thing and blah 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 but it really is if you're not getting enough rest and if you are not sleeping enough and water is also a key factor as i mentioned in a previous video but it really comes down to sleep and rest for the most part thank you guys for tuning in again this is week 14 out from the show 
I'm gonna have some training footage up for you guys soon. And my next video 13 weeks out is gonna be a little more exciting. So stay tuned for that. This uh, little box behind me is gonna definitely change the way I make some YouTube videos. So be on the lookout for that. The quality is gonna be a lot better. And stay tuned guys. If you haven't already, subscribe right here. Strong Island Fitness.